Hey there, in this tutorial, we will show you how to enable the device Vanguard if it's not available. Let's dive in. So before starting this video, let me show you something which is more important. So uh, recently I made tutorial HVCA enable in which I show how to fix this issue. If you are playing Valorant, of course, you know about this error. And a uh, lot of comments like this. There is no folder called device card for me. How I do? and even not only this person there's a few more comments i have seen there is no folder called device card for me what to do but it's time to show you how to fix this first of all you need to enable the virtualization technology from your bios and before going into the bio settings you need to make sure that your pc support virtualization or not how to do that right click on this taskbar open task manager and then go into the performance tab choose the cpu and you will see here the virtualization now if it's enabled which means your bios uh, have virtualization and it's enabled and if it's showing disabled which means you need to enable from bios and if it's uh, showing something not available which means your cpu doesn't support the virtualization technology another thing to know about this you can just click on the windows icon press the windows icon then type system information open this and you will see here the virtualization base security currently is running for me but in your case might be it's saying something enable right if it's enabled but not running which means you can make sure to fix this issue how to do that as i said in my earlier video in hvci error you can enable it by going into the gp edit the group policy editor once you launch the group policy editor you will see here the computer and then administrative templates and then system and then you need to find here the device card which is over here turn on virtualization base security just double tab on it and make sure enable it right and then hit apply and okay it will work even though it's uh, it will still work if you set it on not configured but in case if it's not working for you i mean not running in the background then you can just set it on enabled and also make sure enable tpm scare boot from your bios and if your pc doesn't support the tpm or scare boot then shift on windows 10 pro and make sure go with the latest version now about this uh, device card it's released in windows 10 16 or 7 version so make sure use the latest version currently windows 10 23 h2 version is the latest version for windows 10 and for windows 11 24 h2 is the latest version even though you can go with the 23 h2 for windows 11 as well but if you go with the latest version you will not face these kind of issue now after doing all these steps you will uh, see this device card in the group policy editor as i show it's over here system and then device card this is the folder now if you uh, didn't see this folder which means you need to update your windows and enable the virtualization technology from your bios and your problem should be fixed 100 percent but in case if you are using the latest version um, of operating system then still it's not available over here which means your virtualization is disabled or your motherboard is not supporting the virtualization technology and for that as i said open task manager and then go into the performance cpu you can see here if it's enabled which means your virtualization is enabled from bios if it's uh, if there's disable option which means you can enable it from bios and if it's saying something unavailable or not available which means your cpu doesn't support the virtualization technology another thing you can do here if you really don't know about these things then open file explorer then right click on this pc go into the properties and you need to note down your cpu uh, the processor name it's amd ryzen 5 3600 you can search about this on google or on the official website to know that your cpu does support the virtualization technology or not if not then you need to upgrade otherwise yeah i guess you got everything but the current situation is for valorant user if you guys are facing any issues then go with the windows 10 
Pro with the latest version you will not face any kind of issue related to the you know HVCI or any other and in case if you are facing still in Windows 10 even though then you need to disable the UEFI and PPM from BIOS and then also go here into the Windows security and then device security and then core isolation detail once you are here just disable the memory integrity actually in my opinion in my according to my experience actually this memory integrity works with your uefi and tpm security so in case if you don't have any requirement like tpm or scare boot then you don't need to enable this one you can disable this one it will work fine for you on windows 10 pro and yeah that's it if you like this video hit that like button subscribe to this youtube channel see you in the next video have a good day bye bye